Hey guys, welcome back again to JN Electric YouTube channel. On this sunny afternoon, I will explain and review an all equalizer with the Technic branch with type SH8020. All frequency setting still use analog slide potentiometer. There are two kind of color made by the technical manufacturer, namely black and silver. And this, and this is not origin, but add with a wood skin. Both color are attractive, but these people tend to prefer the black color more. The best potentiometer adjustment according to test is to get the real pleasure. And this way of setting is that a lot of people use it. Shifting the potentiometer up means you want to increase the frequency by how many dB. The name and the product type label is located on the rear of the oldest panel. It is clearly written how many watts and other specification. The inlet and outlet are assembled in a RCA jack which is very clearly marked which one is input and which the one is output and now let's open the cover of this equalizer what is inside this equalizer is it like you have seen before and let's see together after i opened the equalizer cover it turned out that everything was still using a single layer PCB and to connect the main PCB to the potentiometer PCB still using a ribbon cable. And in my opinion this is a bad way because there will be a loss of contacts between the terminals the active component still used a 12 operational amplifier which 12 ICs contain of M the transformer use is very small, maybe about half an ampere, or it is working voltage is 12 volt, CD, and 12 volt. Large of medium size capacitor still uses electrolyte capacitor, and I haven't found a tantalum capacitor here let's see service manual stereo frequency equalizer technical specification specification are subject to change without notice for further improvement maximum output voltage is 6 volt 1 kHz Total harmonic distortion plus noise as per and ratio 0.01% 20 Hz until 20 kHz 100 dB 109 dB 1 SF 66 Frequency response is 5 Hz and 100 kHz at 3 dB. Input sensitivity 
is 1.4 maximum input voltage is 6 volt 1 kilohertz input impedance is 46 kilo ohm gain is 0 plus minus 1 decibel If you have this all equalizer, you can fix it by following the instruction I have given. I think this manual is powerful enough to help you if you are having trouble repairing this equalizer tool. And do you think? that all the part or component in this equalizer are still being solved or not okay i will answer all of them it turned out that many website provide all component I say a big thank you to those of you who have watched and don't forget to like, subscribe and share you with your friend and if you like this content.